Hey everyone, my name is Dennis, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at what to do when you break or damage your ABS wheel sensor. The vehicle in question here is a 2018 Nissan Leaf. It's an EV, but it uses the same uh, ABS wheel sensor as pretty much any car out there, um, or the same system. And uh, one of the issues with these things is even though the, the wheel sensor itself is plastic and I have one I have a new one here so you can see what it's supposed to look like and it's a plastic piece um, and it's going into a cast uh, knuckle and we'll take this I've got all this the car apart to do a CV axle service or replacement um, so in doing so I also wanted to replace the wheel bearings and unfortunately um, you have to take this wheel sensor out in order to remove the wheel bearing uh, without damaging this and I'll show you that on the bench in a sec but um, fortunately uh, if you go to the Nissan dealer these are pretty spendy I think it's 200 US here in Canada it's about $400 for this assembly and the good news is that you can uh, find these and I've used these less expensive uh, parts that you can get from Amazon um, same part number come with virtually the same clips all the same fittings the rubber grommets that fit into the mount spots on the car um, and these are like 30 bucks. So uh, but the question is when you break it, where do you find the plug? Uh, do you have to go into the car or whatever? Uh, do you have to go into the hood? Um, and I was a little stressed out honestly when I broke these A, because I know they're expensive from the dealer. And B, I know that they can be a bit of a hassle depending on where they're routed. But in this case, it's super easy. Um, so if you do have a problem with these and you need to buy the new uh, assembly, um, the ABS wheel sensor assembly. The good news is you can just uh, pull apart some of the plastic plugs and in the fender liner and the harness is actually sitting literally like right here. It's right up. Um, we'll get another camera angle here so you can see it uh, with a light and you can see what you have to unplug. And basically that's where this guy's gonna go. So you s just follow the routing of the old one and uh, you can take out a few of these clips and just pull the fender liner down to get access to it. Let's grab another angle so you can see it. The fender liner uh, here is just plastic. It's held in place with uh, clips and you can use a tool like this. It's just a, an angled uh, pry tool for removing clips. And the clips, um, I bought a big bag of replacements because they're also the clips that are used for the aero panels underneath. And I've removed them all to apply this uh, Noxidol 300, and, uh, which is a corrosion treatment. Um, but if you Google up on Amazon, Q is in Queen, G is in Grover, Z is in Zebra, 054, you'll find um, these parts. And the way they come apart, it's really simple. It's just a, a pin that's raised. And uh, that's what this tool basically is used. You pry them up. Once you pry the tool up, you can see the bottom, uh, which is normally expanded here, relaxes and you can just pull that pin out. So that sitting in there, basically once you pop this piece, you just pull this out and you need to remove just a couple of them to get to that uh, ABS uh, harness, which again is sitting right up here uh, when you look up. Okay, so I've just pulled the fender liner down and uh, you can see, I just throw a light on here, you can see the plug is right here, right there. And it just basically clips up on the fender. There's a little tab on the plug and you wanna depress the tab uh, to remove it. Uh, the tab is actually right right here. You can see it just on the back of the piece. That little tab right there where my finger is, just give that a good press and separate the connectors. And that's it. That's pretty much all you need to know to uh, replace the ABS wheel sensor. But we will go to the bench and just show you a couple other little tips and tricks. Okay, so as promised, here's a little... Uh, off the car discussion being that I have all these bits normally that's sitting on the car and normally the wheel bearing uh, in this case again a 2018 Nissan Leaf is going to be sitting in there in this position and that TPMS or sorry not TPMS the ABS uh, wheel speed sensor is going to be kind of riding in this channel here if you try to pull this out without removing the sensor first you're basically gonna tear off or damage the end. So if you've had wheel bearing service and suddenly you have ABS errors, 
That's why somebody didn't do this, right? But normally what happens is this sensor, and I've cleaned up this hole. I had to drill out the old one. That's how seized it was. But that'll fit in there. And then the bolt uh, that goes in there is uh, just torqued to about 7.8 foot-pounds or 89 inch pounds. Uh, so that's where the sensor goes. And you can see here, it kind of pokes through um, and rides in this channel right there. So it has to be removed and slid out of the way so that this piece can be removed. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, this car is only six years old and this, I mean, being plastic in metal, the rust just basically grabbed it so hard that um, I could not remove it. So I'll probably throw a little bit of anti-seize um, on this so it doesn't happen again. Uh, so it can be removed. Chances are I won't have to service this. You can also use, if you have some of this uh, Molly Coat M77, you can use that as well. Um, this is the Honda branded product, but it's basically Molly Coat M77. And that can be used as uh, in place of anti-seize. It's the grease that I'll be applying just to the back surface of this. Uh, the CV axle is going to fit through this hub. Um, and that's why I have it on hand. But it can also be used uh, on plastic like this. It's a silicone-based product. It's not going to eat into this. Or um, anti-seize. Again, being careful not to get it um, into this area. You just want to basically put a bit in this area, but not on the tip. Uh, the tip is basically going to be sitting in here and it's going to be reading. Uh, there's an encoder, there's kind of a magnetic encoder ring. Um, so as this bearing is turning, this uh, electronics in here, I think it's a magnet and a coil or some electronics, are going to be reading the magnetic field and interpreting that as a speed um, that's relayed back to the ABS computer in the car. So there you go. Uh, pretty easy repair, thankfully. And in my case, I had to replace both sides. Okay, well, fast forward through. Um, we've got everything together. Um, we did go over the torque specs. Good news is the ABS wheel sensors from Amazon work great. No errors. I've had the car on the road now for about a week or so. Um, so there you go. Uh, we've replaced the drive shaft and done a bunch of other work. Uh, we've talked about axle click, um, gone over a bunch of torques, uh, and more importantly, got the car back on the road running great. So uh, if you did find this video helpful, a like and subscribe would be awesome. And uh, I hope you found this all helpful. Cheers.